you reap what you sow. Genesis 8 verse 22 While the earth remaineth, Seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. There is a lot to learn from the Word of God. The entrance of His Word gives light and understanding to the teachable. Today, our focus is on the law of sowing and reaping. Sowing and reaping is a principle that responds to all and sundry. This principle does not have to do with whether you are a believer or not. For instance, there are many believers who complain about the prosperity of ungodly people. It is true that some people got their wealth through wicked and occultic means. But there are others, although they are not believers, yet they are blessed because they followed the principle of sowing and reaping. They invest correctly and solve societal problems with providing a product or service and they are blessed with money in return. The Bible says we should give and it shall be given back to us in good measure. Unbelievers practice this principle and they get blessed too. Genesis 8 verse 22 says that while the earth remains, seed time and harvest will not cease. Whether you are a believer or not, you will reap when you sow, and whatever you sow determines what you are going to reap. This principle is so evident in the world that even unbelievers have created a word for it, karma. We have heard it a million times, that is karma, and what goes around comes around. The word karma is rooted in Hinduism, but its understanding is derived from Buddhism, a branch of Hindu theology. Karma the force generated by a person's actions held in Hinduism and Buddhism to perpetuate transmigration and in its ethical consequences to determine the nature of the person's next existence. We as Christians do not believe in karma, but we do believe you reap what you sow. And that is the truth. If you spend your life stealing and cheating others, people will also steal and cheat from you. If an unbeliever cultivates a land and sows his seeds, he will reap just the same way a believer will reap whatever he sows. This is because sowing and reaping is a principle. As a Christian, whatever you sow is what you will reap. God does not manipulate. The quality of your seed determines the quality of your harvest. This is the reason we are not equal in blessing. Although we may all gather as believers, the quality of our sacrifices to God is not the same. There are believers who take their relationship with God seriously. They invest their time, resources and energy into the service of God and they get blessed in return. But there are others who labors are mere eye services. They indulge in sin and pretend to be holy. They have bad motives, but they appear to be harmless. We have people who are wolves in sheep's clothing, right in the body of Christ. We all gather and look alike, but God is not mocked. He knows the quality of seed every individual is planting in his vineyard. Meanwhile, Time shall reveal the quality of work that we have all done. And when God blesses people, it is not restricted to money alone. There are people who spend their whole life chasing after money, and they have it, but they can't sleep at night, or they can't even look at themselves in the mirror. Being able to sleep at night is a blessing from God, to be able to rest is a blessing from God. To know if I was to die this very moment, I am going to heaven is a blessing from God. 
What are you sowing? What is the quality of your service to God or humanity? Remember that your harvest will be greatly affected by what you sow. The quality of your seed determines the quality of your yield. As far as our relationship with God is concerned, no one can cut corners and try to outsmart God. He will judge everything we do. Even our secret labors will be brought to light and be revealed before all. Galatians 6, verse 7 and 8 says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. God honors the law of sowing and reaping. It is injustice for God to reward you when you have not labored for him with the right heart. God does not walk against his principles even though he has the power to do all things. Do not play games with God. What you sow, you shall reap. What you sow, you shall reap. What you sow, you shall reap. Do not play games with God. Allow these words to be integrated into your mind. What you sow, you shall reap. Before you make a decision, remember, what you sow, you shall reap. God cannot be mocked. You can deceive your pastor. You can hide from everyone. But there is an eye that sees in the darkest secret. Whatever you sow is what you will reap. Many people will never say Amen when you pray that they should reap what they sow because their secret life is evil. They know within themselves that they have not done what is right. There are people who sow to their flesh and the Bible says that such people will reap corruption. These are the set of people that give themselves to the pleasure of sin. They have forgotten that the wages of sin is death. If you plant sin, you will harvest death. The fortunate or unfortunate thing is that God will honor the harvest of whatever you sow. If you sow to your flesh, you will reap corruption. And if you sow into the Spirit, you will reap eternal life. Make a point to live a holy life, a life where you will be confident of what you are reaping. Don't live a life of deceit and secret sins and evil, but to live a life of love, peace and holiness. There is a great need for us to evaluate our lives. Could it be that you are reaping what you have sown years ago? The current situation of some people is the harvest of what they have sown in the past. It is a divine principle and law that you must reap what you sow. What you are today is a product of what you have sown yesterday. And your tomorrow will be determined by what you are sowing today. There is a great lesson to be learned from the life of David. David committed adultery with Uriah's wife and murdered him in the long run. He never knew that what he did was a seed sown. David reaped what he had sown later in his life. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatever you sow is what you will reap. God is not unjust. Live an honest life before the Lord. You can't pull the wool of God's eyes. Please live an honest and right life before God. If you sow good seeds, His integrity will ensure you have good harvest. Don't sow bad seeds, otherwise you will harvest thorns. 
In your service to God and in your relationship with humans, make sure you are positive. Evaluate if there are evil plants you need to uproot from your life before they yield regrettable fruits. Don't sow sin so that you won't reap death.